Today, we will be going through one of the most insane money-making methods you could ever do. It's like an exponential money-making method. It doesn't require RNG, but it does kind of require luck. Well, as in pet luck. So what you'll want to do today is you'll want to kind of be really overpowered at your taming. Like, I'm terrible at my taming because I haven't really played for that long. But let's say you're taming 50 or 60. I don't remember the max. I'm pretty sure it's 50, but correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video because I did use a lot of effort to it. So let's get right into it. So like I said, you need pet lock, like a ton of pet lock, and you'll need some decent collections. My collections are absolutely terrible because I'm a dungeons and like combat dude. So pretty much what you'll want to do is you'll want to go and grab yourself a couple of super enchanted eggs as well as, let's say, some raw rabbit, and craft yourself a rabbit pet. This will either give you an epic or a legendary rabbit pet. So, you'll want to just check the price of a rabbit pet before, like, you do anything. So, right now, legendary rabbit pet, level 1 is pretty much like 800k, while the epic is only 150k, which makes a big difference. So, Crafting pets kind of depends on, like, your pet luck and everything. And if you're a good taming, then you'll easily be able to get a couple of um, legendary pets. And then if you're not that great with your taming, then you'll probably only get a couple of rabbit pets. This is more aimed for mid-game players, while well, I'm on the early game. And so, pretty much you'll just want to... Keep on crafting pets, and then you can make a ton of money off flipping these and selling them back. So pretty much the best one I've found so far is the sheep pet. Because one, they sell really quickly since mages use them so much, and they're honestly just so useful. Um, So with the sheep pet, at epic, it sells for 1.5 mil, which is actually pretty good. And crafting it takes um, 64 times 8 enchanted mutton, when you're thinking about it, so you can only say 64 times 8. Um, sinks for a while. 64 times 8 is about, like, 500. And then, so that would be, like, 1.3 mil. And then getting the super enchanted egg is only around 200k, well 200 to 250k. So if you are unlucky, then you'll only lose about 100 to 200k, which is even better than the sheep, I meant not the sheep pet, the rabbit pet. But if you are lucky, then you'll just make 3 mil profit. And from that 3 mil profit, like I said, it's exponential. You'll just keep on making more money from that 3 mil, because you can use that 3 mil to craft two more pets. And if you're like taming 50, you can probably get at least another one. And you can just keep on making profit. While well, as well just... Well, kind of getting some carpentry XP, because that's all I can think of right now from crafting stuff. Like carpentry is um, terrible, because... I'm just not very good. And so, there are a couple other things that you could possibly get. So, let's say, you can do Endermite pets, but they're not really profi profitable, but they will probably sell pretty quickly. You'll want ones that sell quickly so that you can easily just, um, then you can easily get the money back so you can, yeah. Um, so I'm pretty sure I do have the end of my pet collection, let me check. Uh, why is it always just one away? That sucks. What collection do I do? What? But I have, like, none that I actually need. So, you, I could technically, like, I don't know what I could technically do. But... 
um, you'll just kind of want to max out your collections a bit more so that you can like do any pet that comes up to be profitable. And note that right now, just some random thing I'm saying is that all the YouTubers are teaming together to vote for, you guessed it, we're voting for Barry this time. So please everybody vote for Barry because just the memes. Barry supposedly also opens the wizard portal, but don't quote me on that. So, yeah, just everybody vote Barry. Hashtag vote Barry. As you can see, all the other mayors are terrible. There's Barry best. Obviously. So, back to the video. Um, since gemstones and, like, other stuff has been nerfed as a money-making method, Pet crafting will actually kind of be good. And pretty much that's it, apart from the fact that Diana does boost pet crafting by a ton, because Diana gives 25 pet luck. So that's pretty much just like getting to, let's say, um, that's pretty much like if you're uh, taming 50, that's pretty much like you're taming 75, so kind of overpowered. And I'm pretty sure Blaze Pet's alright for money as well, even though it's like overly expensive. By the way, there's a couple of leaks that came out for like, um, what, what? I searched up Blaze and it came up with Builders once. That's kind of, oh, that's a good flip. So, um, you could craft blaze pets right now, because the nether update is coming out pretty soon. And that will be really useful. Um, with blaze pets, you can kind of invest in them, so that's also a good part about them. Um, I am pretty sure that they were nerfed, but um, they're still really useful like the nether update but they're a bit less useful but obviously still useful so you will want to invest in those because they're useful but i probably don't recommend those unless you're really end game because they're so expensive as well as the fact that it's really enraging every time you just get an 8 mil pet instead of a 40 mil pet so yeah pretty much that will be it for this video and hopefully you were able to make like a ton of money. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time.